on a video for today. Um, I was going to initially do a just a normal kind of day's vlog as I always do but you know I wanted to kind of maybe not so much shake it up but I wanted to kind of put a little bit of thought into what I was doing. So I'm going to do a quick rundown of what makes a video a video. Excuse the lawn mo. Now I know what you're, you're all probably thinking is Kev you're, you're not exactly the biggest YouTuber you're not the biggest guy on, on this platform but you know I've been doing it for about, about I think about a year and a half now, so I think I've got got somewhat of an idea of what I'm doing. Not too much of an idea of what I'm doing, but most of it. So I'm going to kind of run through it as if I'm doing doing the video. So first things first is you have to have a, a good intro. Um, now mine isn't great, it's just a, a simple hi and welcome once again. Um, I personally started doing that because, you know, I said hi and welcome, I think the first video, and then ever since then it's been kind of like a saying it again rather than saying hello and welcome because it's you know you've already been here it's just a little thing I do the second thing I'd probably say is get a good format how you go to go around your, your business and how you go to shoot what you're going to shoot and then how you go to really uh, into your edits usually what I do is I'll take Buster for an initial walk get the intro kind of there and then I kind of see how the, how the day kind of goes um, so this is one I, I, I kind of shot before The other thing I usually put in, in my videos is time lapses. You know, it's something that I kind of I started doing, and it kind of it gives me a, a pretty decent intro and outro, and also sometimes a good little kind of filler uh, in between certain takes as well. So um, I'm going to um, take a quick time lapse of that guy. See what I did there. That's, it's now it's now nearly five o'clock, so I managed to transition my day with the that uh, time lapse. Even though it's only a couple of seconds for you, it's been a few hours for me. So that's a really good point. If you've been kind of videoing a, a, kind of a lot and you know you've got a bit of a gap, you know just make sure you shoot enough time lapses and you'll you'll get there. Now the next part is uh, it's going to be another B-roll section because it is actually going to be B-roll. Um, but this is going to entail quite a few things. Um, now you don't have to do this, but when I, I started doing these videos, there was one thing that I felt like was missing, and that was a few a couple of aerial shots. Um, even if it was only round about the park, which it's turn, turned out to be, um, then you know it kind of set up the kind of scene, set up the the next shot really, um, to where you are and what you're doing. Although I don't do that 100 percent to the actual effect, it's still kind of helps to kind of transition along and plus as well if it's a really muggy day which which you know it's really gotten that bad out here so so yeah this next um, th this next sequence is going to be um you know b-roll which i haven't yet mastered uh, but you know it's something that i've i've, I've managed to pick up also brings into play uh, your your time lapses as well but also drone shots uh, and if you're just going about your your, your daily kind of bit, you know, try and pick out your your um, your angles, and you can also like and in, in your edit, you can also like slow it down, or you can fasten it up, or you can cut it in amongst, um, and also music. Um, you know, you have to kind of pick your scene. You have to kind of pick what kind of vibe you uh, you kind of looking for. I, I tend to kind of go for more upbeat kind of vibes because I, I kind of tend to feel as if anything I put a slow kind of song in it just kind of. It, it puts the, the whole video kind of dead in its track, so I'm going to now show you that and play with this uh, little B-roll section from yesterday and probably some today as well. So this is me out with, with, with Polly and I'll, I'll, I'll try and film myself as well as much as I can. So 
the next part I've came indoors because it's started to rain. Um, I didn't get as much B-roll as what I wanted for that, that little segment, but you know, I, I'm sure you get the point. The next part is to have a little segment, at least if you're struggling for something to kind of talk about. The next thing you have to kind of bear in mind is uh, you don't always have to do this. I just felt, I, I, I just felt at the time when I created the videos, created the vlog, created the channel, that um, I needed something, you know, to kind of extend a little, a little. So the next thing I would advise if you if you don't have a lot to do in a day, create a little segment. The next thing I'd probably say put in your your, your videos is titles, titles, titles. Um, where if you have a spelling error, where if you have a mis, you know, you know you've misstated something, you know you just put it literally you know about here or here or whatever you have space on your frame, and it can, it can correct it. It's also the way that people can know what, what they're watching. Like in my case, I, I put my name up on it and the amount of vlogs that I've done. Um, that might change in the future because once I get to a certain stage, I might just scrap that little bit. Um, and as well, put the date in it as well, just so that that way, you know, when I've actually, you know, been shooting. And just for the people who who have been kind of wondering well if the the, the date is the date that I'm uploading or, or, or the date that I'm doing the edit or whatever it's the date that I shot um, unless I do a double then I might not put the date in but I might put the starting date in and then the last bit, the, 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 the last but not least the, the the last title that you do at the very end I always put like, share, comment and subscribe because that's like, you know, the four things um, you can also put annotations and a lot of other things at the very very tail end of your your video I've, I've not really got that far um, and as well, always put the, uh, the the artist and the song, and I, I quickly thank you. You know, I don't know if a lot of guy, a lot of you guys have um, got to the end of my videos yet. I'm watching you. I basically just do that so that way that the artist gets a, a bit of credit, and I'm also giving you guys a bit of credit as well. So another thing to look out for as well is lighting. I have really bad lighting. I'm very bad at actually lighting myself up. Uh, so that's one thing that I need to work on, and. You know, it's not like the most important thing to kind of do as long as you have some sort of natural light coming from some angle um, you know you can make yourself look a lot better that's one thing I learned early on was you know light is you know it's it's important so that's why I had to upgrade my camera and as well another thing you know if you think that you need a big camera uh, to vlog I have I, I check it on Amazon I have a, a Canon M10 it's a very small mirrorless camera and um, I may upgrade it at some point but it's done well for the past year and a half or so. I started off with a Fujifilm, uh, just like a normal point and shoot, but also for my own preference, I knew I was going to carry on with, with uh, doing these videos. So I kind of wanted to really, you know, up, up, upgrade, at least on that, on that part. So there you go, that's kind of, you know, b b before I get straight into the comments, a uh, uh, comment section for a, uh, you don't do this, you don't do that, you, you, know, you know, you're, you're very, you know, you're, you're, you're bad at this. Um, I know that I'm not the best. I know that, you know, I don't have the biggest subscriber count. I know that I'm not, not, not the most, not, not the hottest ticket out there, but I just wanted to put my experience of what I've learned and, you know, kind of put it down there for everybody to see, really. So you guys know the script by now. Just uh, like, subscribe, comment, share, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you later. This has been a, a bit of a different experience, but, um, you know, I'll be back soon.